Well, in many respects, he's a promoter's dream. Kevin Trailblazer Holland sometimes flaps the gums a little bit and maybe says some things that the UFC doesn't like, but this guy is a soldier, a promotional workhorse, always answers the bell, and not just answers the bell, but always shows up in fine fettle, always in good shape, always ready to perform. His strength of schedule rivals any fighter in the UFC's middleweight or light heavyweight division. And if Kevin Holland can fight on instinct, stay true to himself, not play his opponent's game, the guy could be a world champion one day. Easier said than done. This time, he wants to leave with that championship belt. All right, so here's the undisputed UFC lightweight champion and one of the very best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, Islam Makhachev. He trained alongside this man for years. He has every skill in the book. And the X Factor tonight is that has Bruno in his corner. Yeah, that's one of his, his brothers, is what they call him. Islam Makhachev, though, is the guy that really does strike fear in so many lightweights' minds. He's a guy that possesses wrestling ability. He's a guy that possesses striking ability. The grappling is second to none. And just his size and physicality is so difficult to deal with. He is a tremendous fighter, and he will be pushed even more forward with the presence of his good friend, Hasbula. You do wonder, though, if the opposing corner is a little bit intimidated given Hasbula's presence <laughs> in the Makashev corner. Islam Makashev has graced the octagon. He's ready to go. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. This will be first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight Champion of the world, Islam Makhachev. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this one. Ready. Good. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Makhachev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will. What a setup. He lands a beautiful flying knee. Strong straight left there. Makashev going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Best man who has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, oh hip toss to get him down. Makashev's trying to lock up on a submission now. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, he grounded.
pounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Makashev's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Making all these shots count. Holland getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not gonna bail you out. Oh, he could be a one-eyed fighter here pretty soon. That left eye starting to shut. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to the world and to try to choke him out and finish the fight. Oh, somehow he got out! That was beautiful. Look at how he fought his hips up in the air. Used his momentum to swing himself back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Another ground and pound strike lands. Nice shot there by the champ. Thirty seconds now to go on the round. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, that's getting deep. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. rest until you're back up on your feet. All right, so the fight goes the distance. You see him raise his hand seemingly in victory. When it comes to the submissions, man, he went for it all night. He went for him all night. Every chance he got, he attacked the neck. He attacked the arm. He attacked the legs. Whatever submission was presented, he attacked it with the intent to finish the fight. I thought he did a great job of just being offensive in every single position. Second round underway. Checks the leg kick. Are up, but the double jab gets through. Lead kick landed there by Holland. Just missing on the counter there. Taken down now by Islam. Oh. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. This is where he wants to be. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Islam Makhachev. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Well, his grappling has been on point thus far, and don't think he's going to slow down. He can keep up this pace through the whole fight. Especially when he's on top, in the top position. Makashev's going for the sub here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound with very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. 
big ground and pound. Great shot from the top position. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. All right, working inside the closed guard now. And the horn sounds on round two. Highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success. And you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and pound as the round came to an end. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Hung. Round three of a possible five. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should be. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack He's trying to control posture here. Now, oh, now he's attacking on triangle. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, oh how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Big right hook there by the champ. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these takes these submissions. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, feet on the hips here. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Oh, hammer fist here by Hung. Lands the ground and pound strike. Let's go, push, 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 get free. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. This is a terrible position. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. 15 seconds. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. You lost that last round. You're losing the fight. We need to change things up quick. Remember the game plan. Let's go back to that. Schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus four. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra ten minutes is not normal. 
Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15 minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. Makashev says got full mount now. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Islam Makasha. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cutter up. Makashev's now looking for a Darce choke. All right, looks like that Darce is tight. Nice transition. He's got him flat on his back. Mm, that was nice. Makashev's right back to the full mount. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Islam Akashi. Another ground and pound strike gets home. All right, so the fighter setting up another sub attempt here. Oh, he's got the armbar deep. Oh, he bails on the submission now. He's got to be careful here. <laughs> well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Islam Makashe. Another strike gets through. Makashev's in half court. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Uh, Horn sounds uh, for the end of round four. All right, great stuff. That was your round for sure. You completely dominated that round. I need more of the same. This is the last five minutes of the fight. Let's go. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Nice block and the follow-up counter with the jab. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. and pounding away with these hammer fists. Beautiful work by Islam Akasha. Massive shot from the top. Another ground and pound strike lands. Makashev's in half guard. Closed guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. Yes. Oh, I'm trying. Arm triangle, arm triangle. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. Under three minutes now to go round five. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Makashev's back in full mount. Now he's got good body position, yup. Hard ground and pound shot there, and yes, it was hard. Opened him right up. Get that 
Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Tighter, tighter. Send up another submission. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. Beautiful transition. Good work from the top here by Islam Akasha. One minute to go in the fight. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Hong. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Makashev's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye, gotta be careful. He's gotta shore up the defense, because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only gonna continue to get worse. The official decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 50-44, and 50-44. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC Walter Waite champion of the world, Islam. All right, so another one bites the dust. Another challenger goes by the wayside. Congratulations to the still undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. There he is. Hard 25 minutes fought here tonight, but he goes out the way he came in, undisputed as the king of the 170s in the UFC.